Hey, welcome back to the stream. It's your boy Lucas playing some Knights of the Old Republic. We finally finished Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It took us a whole year and a half, and this was good. It was good. It took a while. We took our time. It was great. But now we're here. We're playing Knights of the Old Republic. My favorite game of all time, I would say. I got it for the original Xbox um, in 2004 or what have you. It was the first game I opened along with Clone Wars slash Tetris. Um, and I loved it. I, well, I have to say this. The first time I played it, it was way too complicated for a seven-year-old to understand. I had no idea where to go, what to do, etc., etc. But somehow, in the next year or so, my brain developed enough where I could get past the first fight and figure out how to actually play the game. So me and one of my very good friends decided to co-op couch this motherfucker. Um, we both sat down every session uh, for maybe a year or a year and a half or whatever and just played it. We played it together, we decided the dialogue options together, it was, uh, it was fun. It was a very unique way to play the game and something that you don't really get to do a lot anymore because um, everything's so accessible you can just you can just play your game but i was the one with the copy of the game and so whenever he came over uh we would play it play it for a couple hours and there was so much adventuring there's so many fond memories i have but now the game is 19 years old almost 20. there was an announcement that they were going to do a remake um, but unfortunately that has been, uh, indefinitely postponed. So the likelihood of the Knights of the Old Republic remake actually seeing the light of day is probably slim to none, but you never know. You never know. Anyways, this stream, I'm going to start it today. Uh, I think this is a relatively short game and maybe take me a couple months, a couple weeks. But my goal is to see if this game still holds up. Is it as good as I remember it, or is it overrated? Um, you'll see it and hear a lot of Star Wars fans also sing praises of this game. Um, and as we all know, it's Bioware's big break before they ended up making Mass Effect. So it's story-based, a lot of dialogue options. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be a fun time. I did a little test of this the uh, other week and I was already getting so excited and so hyped to play this. Um, yeah. But hey, let's do it. Let's get into this game. Let's go! Hell yeah, pumped for it. As you should be. As you should be. Should I get the green screen out? I feel like I don't even know what's gonna work. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. So, as you can see, there are six characters and character classes to choose from. Um, you've got male scoundrel male scout and male soldier and then uh, the female equivalent on the other side. Um, let's just read through these. A skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile, an explorer most at home on the fringes of space, and a battle ready fighter with no equal combat. So I'm thinking that uh, scoundrel is more so based on like um, Gunfighting, uh, technical skills, uh, I don't even know, like uh, luck based gambling, all that good stuff. And I think Soldier is the far off uh, on the other side of that, where you're um, pretty strong, really, really good in combat, and then Scout is sort of in between. And it, as you can see, it's literally just the same thing on the other side here. Um, 
I'm just gonna go with the scoundrel. But maybe we should talk about the philosophy of this character. So, uh, you don't know, but you will find out shortly that you basically wake up with amnesia. You don't really know who you are. Um, this, you wake up on a ship that is being attacked by the Empire or, you know, the Sith. I can't remember exactly what they call them in this game, but it's the Sith, you know. Um, and you're basically told you've been getting into trouble and, um, the Republic decided to hire you or something. That's the story you're given. But really, you don't you don't really know how you got onto the ship. Um, and you don't really remember a ton about your character. So that's like blank slate. It can be whatever you want to be. Um, I'm gonna play this game as if it were me. That's how I usually do my first run of these like story style games. I'm uh, I would classify myself as like a lawful good. So I'm gonna, you know, follow the rules as much as possible, strong moral compass, try to save as many people as I can, um, and do, do as much good as I can for the world that, I, that I'm given. Um, obviously there may be some tough choices along the way, but I will always try to save those people that are in front of me. So that being said, let's go with that. That. That'll, that'll inform the fighting style, you know? Um, I don't really want to do, like, a stealth play. I'd rather just, um... Uh, but there's, like... An explorer most in all my energy in space. We can do something like that. What's our backstory? What's our backstory? I don't know if I'm a fighter. Maybe I'm just like a loner. Gets by, tries to help people where I can. Makes, makes good deals. A skillful rogue sounds pretty fun though. Charismatic, like a Han Solo type. Yeah. I'll do it. Ah, uh, sorry. It's too late. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry. No, I'll do Guile. I'll do Guile. Um. Rogue has stealth, which is good on high difficulty. Yes, very true. I haven't even gotten to, like, but there are what's cool about this game is there they've designed it in a way where there are multiple ways to get through scenarios one of which is often uh stealth using stealth in one way or another to get around an obstacle or like get past an enemy you know that kind of stuff so that could be cool to play into stealing things from people but I, myself, wouldn't steal from folks, you know? But what's gonna be an exciting place? We'll do Scoundrel. I feel like Scoundrel is a good... It's a good thing. Guile's just getting to me. I'll be fringy. I'll be fringy. Uh, quick character. If you select this option, your character will use. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> so hard. Um, it will use an optimized template. You only have to choose your character's appearance inside of the name. We'll do custom. Why not? Um. The character selection stuff is pretty, uh, limited here, globally. It's probably like 14 like, portraits. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
So I maxed it. I maxed at 18 before. I'm gonna have a low constitution, low strength, high dex, means I'm good at ranged weapons, intelligence. Oh, three to get it to 18? Minus one modifier in strength. I feel like that's gonna fuck me over. Maybe it should just have everything at 10? I don't know how hard this game's gonna get. We'll do high dex, high charisma. Okay, I feel like I'm okay with that. Associated with it. This is the skill rank. I also, I, I'm so sorry. I have small mistakes. The character is with the skill. And using a skill to perform an action, the rank is compared against a difficulty check number. For example, to open a lock with DC 15, take your skill rank and security and wisdom modifier plus D20. We'll see. There it is. Okay. What is the recommended? High security. Oh, but I want persuade demolition. Just arm lines. I 
Trying to figure out how to make PDP a mod here. I can't remember what the command is. We will join you in the ranks, Jedi Master. Anyways, I need to, I need to run through this. I want. I guess these are all stealth stuff. I'm gonna get rid of... Okay. I just took out demolitions. allow you to use special items like heavy armor or implants. Other feats modify saving throws and skill checks during the game. In some feats, power attack are used during combat. Grant of the Hollow feats armor proficiency, light critical strikes, sniper shot, weapon proficiency, blaster, blaster rifle, melee weapons, sneak attack, scoundrel's luck. Nice. Two weapon fighting. One feat that I can get. Critical strike is always good, but I need to be a level four for improved critical strike. Power blast, rapid shot, blaster pistol, blaster rifle. Extra vitality point every time they level up. Retroactive. I feel like that's just good. I'll add this. Gearhead. Conditioning. Temperature. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Happy. <laughs> Alright, what is my name? Aaron Casra. Oh, it's gotta be Lucas. Lucas Kenobi. Mibin Car, Jin Star. Oh, I like Star. I'll do I'll do Lucas Star. Two R's. All right, I guess we're ready to go. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hype mod status. Okay, we're gonna get DMCA for this. We muted it. I skipped through the tutorial because I'm lazy, but I will not let you down. Good. Uh, this is the Star Wars opening theme. Uh, you can fill in the blanks. For thousands, 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy, crushing all resistance. Malak's War of Conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable. Uh, scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. I lost my place. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taurus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic Dominations. <laughs> Gosh, says that's the last time I look up the mod commands. Take out your computer, holy shoot. Peter, I, I trust you. Trust you, you can do it. Alright. I think we're safe now. Very end of it. There's Taurus. Let me know, and this is my first time playing with the stream, so let me know if anything's too loud, doesn't look right, doesn't feel right, all that good stuff. I am here. Here we go. Look at those animations. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Let's freaking go. Who? And it tells me how to select dialogue options. Who are you? Left click this answer to select the highlighted response. The Endar Spire? Let's ask who he is. Volgo, Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. Who's Bastila? Make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who's Bastila? Forget it. I'm looking after my own skin. No, that. We're on a crashing ship. Like, what the fuck is happening? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. Oh, hell I guess yeah. the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. 
desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Okay, let's help Bastila. Oath or no loath. I'm heading to the escape pods. So hurry up and grab your nah, gear. We'll help her. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Where can I get my equipment? Okay. Uh, active quest screen includes important information related to your ongoing adventures. Refer to the journal for hints and guidance throughout the game. Uh, we'll look at my journal in a second. It has also been a very long time since I played this last. Here's the locker. Uh, we got the stealth generator, computer spike, security spike, blaster pistol, short sword, clothing, and some med packs. Come on, we have to hurry. The Sith might already be boarding the ship to try and capture Bastila. Put oh shit! Put on so we can get out of here. Okay. How do I put my clothes on? Uh, the icons at the top right of the screen give you access to your character's record sheet, inventory map, journal, and other menus. You can use the mouse to select different menus. Blah, 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 blah. Um, what's funny about this game, too, is it has a running dialogue sheet of literally everything that's ever said. You could just scroll up. And that has my name, and it's pretty fun. Attack on the Endar Spire, here's the map. Alright. Light and Dark Side, very much like Paragon versus Renegade um, in Mass Effect. Oh yeah, one leg at a time. Store dialogue. Oh yeah, you like it? It's like kind of cool, like, I, I can remember like... In Skyrim or Oblivion, you, you literally just have to like talk to the person again if you forgot what they said, but it's all right here. Your character skills. DC, D20 roll, yes, yes. Party inventory. Okay, where am I going? Um, over here. So this is where you can equip everything. Um, we'll sport the... That and okay, damage one to six, critical threat. So we're really bad with uh, combat weapons, so we're just gonna blaster pistol it. Oh, yeah, I'm put, put on some clothes. Great. Um, I think this is already like equipped. Okay, there let's go. move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Trask has joined your party. Here's the party select screen, and all the items you get you can equip to other people. Um, Trask, he, he won't be here for much longer. I'll let you know that. But you get nine, you get nine companions throughout. And here's all their silhouetted faces. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Use you? You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader. I'll oh, show that shit. Their portrait in the <laughs> lower left corner of the screen. I like how the, the actors explain how to play the game. Left click my portrait now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Left click to target the door, then left. Here's the portrait. Um, I've got some shade thing, like some ambient occlusion on the sides here, so it looks a little fuzzy, but these are the portraits. So you, you get full control over all of the characters, which I always thought was kind of cool. Now that the door's and you get all their skills, too. And then, okay. Got some experience, nice. S W C Z keys. Oh, interesting. Z and C also. This is Cardinal Nasi. The Sith are threatening to oh, overrun no, our position. We can't right. hold out long against their firepower. 
All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's Karth one of the Republic's Nazi. best pilots. What a guy. He's seen Love more combat him. than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. It's kind of nice. This, I mean, this is obviously the tutorial stage. It's just letting you know how the mechanics work and activate middle action. No problem. Got it. Oh, I can open the doors too. Those are the Republic. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Game pauses when you sight an enemy. You can use the mouse to select either a hostile target. And it scrolls through all the actions. So my ability here is sniper shot. And then it'll appear here. So we'll just snipe this guy. And uh, he has not spotted them yet. So we'll go back here. Yes. Nice. Kill him one shot. There we go. Kill him. No party like a boarding party. No par butt like a like a board part butt. Um, what else we got here? I don't know if you have like energy or like we'll run out of stuff. Short sword, long short, combat suit. That could be good. Could be useful to have some armor. Dun, 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 dun. More frag grenades, great. Love them, love them. She's got some skin showing over there. Jeez. Can I talk to Trez? I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Okay. Um, I think we're both fine here. Do I have difficulty? Okay. Yeah, let's up it to difficult. Let's see what the difficult mode is. I feel like that things will just hit harder. You're gonna hear that death sound a lot. At different frequencies. Alright, I'm gonna frag him. Come on, get him! Alright. Credits. Love it. More sit. Sniper. Let's go. Nice. Four. Five. No idea what to expect here. Like how much is good. Dun 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 dun. 
Med pack, frag grenade, poison grenade. Nice. Okay, now I feel like. Oh no, no, not so long. Yes. yes. That's the way out. No. Parts. It's kind of cool. You can move left and right. Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. We could have. Standing there like a bunch of dum dums. What? All right, they can use med packs too. Vibration cell. The bridge is just beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. Oh. I should equip a melee weapon too. What's my GPU? Off, stay again? back and use my blaster. I think I got an AMD in this electronics computer. You're asking about the gaming laptop, right? Your melee weapon is made using a Cortosis weave. It's strong enough to stand up against anything, even a lightsaber. Alright, so the game wants me to, uh, equip, uh, it's long sword. So we'll do that. I think it's probably just better. Yes? Maybe not. Actually. Yep. <laughs> Not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. So true. There's Taurus. It's cool being on the spaceship. Not cool that it's hurtling towards the, the planet, but uh, you know, we'll take what we can get. Battle stimulant. Poor guys on the Endar Spire. Never had a chance. Alright, Trask, it's been good. I don't have enough experience. Oh, I can level up. Level up skills. Um. But dum dum. Always persuade. I'm getting another feat here. Plus one attack bonus with blaster pistols. I feel like that's good. Range. Characters that focus using single one handed weapon in battle gain plus one. Oh, that's good. 
kinda like that. Also, extra vitality. Let's, do, let's go for the vitality there. Yes. Behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. Oh yeah. All these animations. So janky. Bye, Trask. He's bought me time. What a good lad. Poor guy. This is Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. Okay. I can stealth it. Hell yeah. Can't see me. Oh, hey. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, shit. Am I gonna die? Died. <laughs> um, is this it? How is it? This is Carth on okay, on your personal communicator. Good. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod, but be careful. This Alright. Thank you, game, for auto saving there. Uh, Lucas Star. I need to reset the death counter. Should I do that real quick? Let's do it. Let's do it. Zero. All right. Let's try it now. Here we go. Counts to begin. stealth for a certain amount of time, or... I don't know why you saw me the last time and not this time. Hello, bear! Oh. Sneak past you guys, too. It's so good to see you. The terminal and use the Endar Spire security I hope you've had. I hope you had a good time. 
hope everything's just been great, you know? Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. I can't remember what his second suggestion was. Good thing your spikes to slice into the terminal. Security or robot repair? Let's see if we can do this. Or to try and override or reprogram existing commands. Computer spikes. I have one computer spike. Alright, that's the room. Overload power conduit. Five spikes. I have one spike, so that's not gonna work. Wonder if there's spikes in here. There's some stuff. Yep. Okay. So it's really activate the combat droid. I think we wanna overload the conduit. Let's be real. Dark side or light side? We're going light side, bear. We're going light side. Yeah, bear. That's what I'm hearing too. I've heard it's been indefinitely postponed, uh, which likely means it is canceled, which is very sad. But hey, you never know. It's a wild time out there. Prototype by Roblade. Cool. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. How do I know? I can trust you. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left on the Endar Spire. Super suck. Pod's already gone, super, so no super suck. To stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right, car. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right, Car, I trust you. Um, there it is. This is the last escape pod, and your only hope for survival. All right, I'll go. Step away. you can see lots of similarities callbacks to Star Wars a new hope you know the droids falling down to the planet the start of my visions there's Bastila Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Look at all these dialogue options. Bastila! I had a strange dream, like a vision or something, right? I'm like a star. By the way, how did we get here? How did I get here? Slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. The Sith? Yeah, I know who the Sith are. I guess I owe you my life. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. I 
I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on the forest. Posture check. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. KOTOR animated series? For really? What you mean? I haven't seen Stranger Things either, Bear. All these voice actors, they didn't have one for Revan. Hmm, true. True, true. That smacked your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Mm. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? If Bastila's a Jedi, she can probably look after herself. Fuck you. How do you even know Bastila's still alive? I don't, but Bastila's young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malak and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. True, true. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Entire Three armies? Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand, that's kind of crazy. it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her balance. Entire the armies. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. She got that AoE buff. We can move about the planet without attracting notice. She does. The luxury Bastila won't have. The She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. I was gonna say, when he first intro the ability of battle meditation, I was like, okay, that that doesn't sound very impressive, but you know, give me the give me the pitch. And he's like, she can control entire armies. Like, holy shit. Why why are you calling it battle meditation? Why aren't you calling it like mind control or some shit like that? KOTOR gets fan-made remake series amidst officials reported delay. Interesting. So the fans are just making a cartoon? Oh my god. What's in it for me if I help you out? I think I'll take my chances on my own. If it means getting off this planet, I guess I can help you find Bastila. Good. I'm gonna need to work together for this ride. While you were out, I did some scouting around. Meditating so hard. <laughs> Ooh, based on Unreal Engine 5? That's cool. Meditating is really hard, Peter. You're right. It is a very unique ability to meditate in battle. I'll 
I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Uh, I don't want to ask him a ton of questions. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Obvious. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong. And against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Vassila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada, and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Damn. Sounds like Malak and the Sith have the right idea. No. <laughs> well, I hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with their support of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... Well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad, Joe. Thanks, bro. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. Hello, Shannon. Okay, Stay focused on the task at the hand. The voice is so good. We'll time for that later. Meditating, that is what my shirt size is. Is that med for short? Yeah, yeah it is. What was the joke there? Is that a joke? Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Incoming. Let's get this. Blaster. Ion. One to four. It's good against droids. Welcome Raiders. Hello, Queen and Raiders. How was how was the bear games? Bear and breakfast sounds like a really fun time. Oh, thank you for the sub. The tier one sub. Always appreciate it. I saw you go live earlier. I'm very intrigued by this game. Is it what I think it is? Medium, mediation, but on a shirt size they put med. That's the same. Let's go, day crabs! And this is just one to six. Got a combat suit. I believe in dreaming, shooting for the stars. All right, Carthonassi, you need some. Oh, right, I can't control him yet. 
Uh, workbench. Uh, I don't know if I really need to use that right now. Can upgrade items. Use the workbench. I don't really care about upgrading the melee weapons at the moment. It's sort of bare Stardew. Oh, okay. Eight months! Holy cow! It's been so long, almost a year. Now, back to work. Lurk. Work, lurk. Have fun lurking. Gosh. Bear Stardew does sound like a good time. And I need to get Stardew up in this business, too. Because I, I have not played. You play a bear setting up places for humans to stay? Oh, that's so cool. Yes. I will take heart. You can relate. Alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. This is a raid. Yesterday, nothing. Why do you sit keep bothering us? I know the text is really small. This fucking sit. So evil. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Go beat the cats! Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! They, he really jumped to conclusions. Pure dopamine. Ready. Poor Lick Skull. He should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. He talks a lot. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully, it will be the last. I'm just glad I could help. Don't worry about the bodies. I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the Sith off the track. Thanks, guy. You're a real G. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Take this stuff. Poor guy. He's just blew up. Okay, I can't. Can't talk to him anymore. Okay, these are apartments. I can break into every single one, but I'm trying to keep a low profile, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, most of the residents here in Rondo apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Laren, by the way. Pleased to meet you. My name is Lucas. I'm no care what your name is. I'm not telling you mine. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. This motherfucker selling me on snake oil. Uh, when you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shields even protect against lightsabers, or so I hear. The shields aren't perfect, of course. They can only absorb so much energy before they burn out. And ion blasters will take your basic cooling shield down pretty quick. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Heard rumors of the Ikhani using shields like this, but I never saw anything like this around here. Not until the Sith came. Where they discovered this technology? To anybody's guess. Shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army. But a shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. Gave the Sith a huge edge in the early battles, but all 
wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology, come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice through the shields, but until they do, you're going to see melee combat coming back to the forefront of this war. Really got a lot of reading to do. Let that sink in. A kitchen sink at the open front door. <laughs> I love it. Well, in that case, it is a water well in a briefcase. What are you talking about? Wanna see what I have in stock? Prices are reasonable. We have a kiosk set up here. Oh, shop in this old building selling basic equipment to illegal aliens renting out these apartments. By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Terrace. They allow a few of us Twi'leks up here. For the most part, it's only humans. But no self-respecting upper city human would want to live in apartments in this dump. So, Landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. Sounds like LA. Rather than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from authorities living in the abandoned apartments. And they don't pay rent. No, they don't. Too worried about getting caught. Tars authority has pretty much turned a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't the bother. And once the Sith took over, they felt the same way. Besides, I don't live here myself. I just run a small business providing supplies to the residents you want to see what I have in stock. I'd rather not. It's bad for business. Questions are frowned on. I don't want to lose trust on my customers. If you really need information, talk to Kadir the janitor. He's bordering on senile, so all the residents figure he's harmless. They won't mind you talking to him, and he might be able to help you with your questions. Achuta. Achuta. Military suit, heavy combat suit. I feel like I want... A better blaster. Sonic pistol. Blaster pistol. Light repeating blaster. Here's the energy shield. Oh, I know the shield. Stun dampening stealth unit. Here's all the mines. I don't really know what my combat strat's gonna be yet. But I think I wanna go into pistols for sure. Lots of cool swords though. Infinite. I have seven med packs already. Okay. Well, that guy seems nice. What's Larum? I want to engage in conversation with you. Yeah, everyone's slim shady. Uh, it's upper city. Okay, let's finish exploring this area first. Barrel says some. Those are some pictures memes. There's some picture memes that I posted in Queen's Discord. By the way, do you have one, or are you not interested in making one? Um, I'm not. I'm not interested right now. I feel like I'm just part of so many discords. I also don't know what I would do with it. So, we'll just shill off of Queen's Discord and tell people to go there. Uh, I'll be hanging out in those Discord streets every now and then. Nice. There's the janitor. Hey there, 
Oh, wait, you're working out. Fire, fire, fire. Cool guy, Latkus. Gotta go get my glasses. Five minutes only. Okay. Well, hold up, hold up. Let me get my glasses. They're in the other room. Hello, my real glasses. Also, bear. I'll I'll make a Discord. I'll make a Discord channel server for this. Oh hell yeah! If I get to if I get to a hundred followers, I feel like then it would be it would make sense. You know. No one looking at explosions here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do him. We'll do like a minute. Hey Siri, set a two-minute timer. Two minutes starting now. All right. Watch where you're working. I walk wherever the fuck I want, old man. Well, all right then. No hard feelings. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. Oh, you're sure. Such an old man voice. I never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Um. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here... You I should do a bed, Peter. Now. It's late over there. We gotta rest up for that accounting. Thank you, Peter. Uh, I hope you like your new modding duties. Um, you have a good one. GG. Thanks for hanging out. Decent enough place to live, I guess. Decent enough place to live. That's where the swoop came. You're let her in. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be Thanks. fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I'm sorry. I used to go there when I Don't was cry. younger. A good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Cantina's a good place to start. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper street there. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I... Don't know how much... Uh, what do you think Not of the Sith in this quarantine? Me, you know. I ain't never left Tars. And they Have never I left. always had a beard? A lot of other folks are sure yes. riled up about it, but I, I kind don't of... really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself most of it. Let's wait for your old man to stop, stop talking. Cantina will be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. <sighs> Um, I don't shave regularly, regularly. I just shave every, like, two or three weeks. I actually, like, need to shave now. It's getting too long. But yeah, it comes and goes. So, maybe it's because I'm wearing this bright orange shirt. can't really notice it right now. And a lot of the times, I've had my green screen up, so, like, when I, it's all blended behind me, it's kind of, I guess, hard to notice that I have a beard. But I do. And I do. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. 
Good old Kadir. This is our hideout. Alright, let's get out of here. Maybe a good time to save. Yeah, let's save again. Um. Sound. All right. I need to. Turn down this movie volume here. Sound effects down. Music volume down. I just want to make sure everyone can hear the voice. Kevin McAllister has a beard, just a bear, with a D at the end. Yeah. <laughs> this is our escape pod. Look at Terrace, looks beautiful. Um, I feel yeah, I feel like Canteen is a good place to start. Seems something bothering him. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. I just feel like we should go into a corner somewhere. Oh. Come here, Carl. Come here. There he is. Just, you know. Yes, what's on your mind? Be a little bit more secret here. What is my favorite pie? Blueberry pie. Classic. Classic. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... Doesn't seem right to do and that means I failed them. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. That was the longest cringe for Lucas I've ever seen. I just didn't, I didn't, I, it was so powerful, such a good joke, I couldn't, couldn't do anything about it. I was stunned. Well, Karth's definitely dealing with some shit. Hello there, I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. It. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? Seems like she's anti-Sith. Could be a potential lead. Um, do you know anything about the cash escape pause? Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. 
I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. Now. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Swoop gangs. We missed you, buddy. I missed you, too. It's good to be back. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman. If you get the vacation guy over there in the low, in the lower left of the screen. They say he's a member. Yeah, what is this guy doing? The big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the exchange, that organization across. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from. You understand? The petty crime war. Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. I'm the guy. The guys could learn a thing or two from this tidy little right. arrangement instead of always going after each other. Man, I mean, you can ask these people tons of questions. Face Pam. I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the Undercity. Are getting stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. Okay. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. So found out some escape pods crash in the undercity so I gotta find my way down down Cantina it up. Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? Oh, Pazak. All strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Oh. Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, you know where to find me. It's real hard. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. Yes, I'll even please. throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal if you can afford it. Let's do it. Don't get me wrong. The game You're giving up gamble? Why? I, I wonder. I traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the outer rim. I've won countless fortunes and lost countless more. But that was long ago. And things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are good luck. I hope the game's as good. Uh. Every game's got to have some good, good cards. 
Alright, I played this the other day too. Far reaches of the outer rim, you don't say. <laughs> Example four cards were only drawn from the side deck he selected earlier. Each turn by dragging it onto the board. Hey, you want to get to 20. Find cards that can be played as either a negative or a positive value. These cards are very rare, but they give Pazak players a strong tactical advantage. Okay. Um. Twelve. Let's see what we get. Fourteen. Oh. oh, we both went over. Now this is eSports. Is that 13? I would go higher. I win! Oh, I'm gonna win that other one too. Oh. Nice. I win. Back again. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up. Um, who are you? I, mean, I don't really need to know who this guy is. Back again? I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh. No, of course, of course. I wish the off-duty sit would stop coming in here for drinks. I mean, scouring Undercity looking for the Republic escape pods and the reek of the sewers. Mm. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Oh, yeah. Now we have to watch the, the door arena. on the screen. So Who good. cares? It's Who cares? It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the blue screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all you're better down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. <clears throat> and over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. Who will win? Who will lose? Oh, he dropped his blaster. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, in a bit. I love this announcer voice. So I give you the winner, Gerlon Twofinger. to see Marl still around after all these years. He proves this isn't just a young man's game. 
I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Dear trigger finger, as itchy as mine. Okay. Oh, we'll have a blast. Well, this is the whole fighting thing. What are you looking at? Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? I love how the first question I can ask is just, who are you? Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. I don't know if I want to do that first. So I don't know what it's going to do for me necessarily. I'm looking for Bastila, so... I guess it'll get me a lot of money. You know, it's not enough the Sith conquered this planet, but do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence in our faces? True. Sure. Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the Sith quarantine, so they've been playing here every night. Talk about a good break for us. Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care much for the band, but those dancing Twi'leks are something else, I'm telling you now. God. Nice. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. Oh, I recognize her voice. Closing this cantina down. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. Nice outfit. I've seen well, outfits. You've all got the, the same. Holy shit, you yeah, motherfucker. The city is nothing but a slum. If the Sith want to win us Teresians over, they should clean the gangs out of there. I'm surprised the Sith haven't done anything to try to bring in Davik. After all, everyone knows he's the crime lord who runs this planet. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. <laughs> All right. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I mean, scouring the Undercity looking for the Republic escape pods and they reek of the sewers. Look at these faces. <sighs> Who dresses you? You look like you crawled up here from the lower city. Oh well, I guess we can't all have style. Your faces? Well, the band's pretty good, but I'm getting a little sick of them. If it wasn't for the Sith quarantine, maybe we could get somebody new in here to play. Muchishakapaka. Muchishakapaka. chichon. <laughs> Mucha shakapaka, ye ki kun no ba muladra. Too busy to pay any attention to you. All right, I'm here to find information, but it seems as though. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get a of oh, the nobility. See, talking with a common rabble, you wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Sheesh. Well, it looks like I can play Bazak, and oh, there's this person, too. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us six officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. 29 to 47 hours to be KOTOR? Holy crap! Who knew? It's a lot of content in this game. I mean, I know Taurus takes a while. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taurus can't stand us, Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. 
That's true, but people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment well, like this. Well, guess we're in it for the long haul then, Bear. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. Am I gonna be a completionist? I think we're gonna do enough. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do 100%, but I want to experience the game. Some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Alright, that's our inn. find out more info on the Sith and their pods bear OMG go sleep out of our way citizen we're on official Sith business just stand aside if you know what's good for you I'm, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna meet up with this lady I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, put her down. Or I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna stop the stream after Gavik that. says you missed your last payment. Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should find me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't I am in California. Debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credit? I have 41 here. No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold no. on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Uh-huh. Thank you. I owe yes. my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Hand over all your credits if you want to live. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Tavik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You I didn't have a hundred credits. That's what she said. I wish I could have given him the hundred credits that they just dropped. Um, where is this person? Yeah. You've been invited to a party by one of the Sith. According to the directions on your data pad, they're getting together at an apartment on the east side of the north upper city. Northeast. No, to upper city. and good day. 
On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Talus. I am a critical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Talus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? You missed my favorite statement. Before, that's what she said, I think. Oh, that was fast. That's what she said. I see. I see. Oh! Rico, what you doing? Rico? Your car's in trouble? Dropping frames. Uh oh. That was weird. Oh, I got up and missed it apparently. Rico! Yeah, I think he wants to go out. Then, if you would excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. My internet's been a little funky. Never had any internet issues at my place in Sherman Oaks, but this one's been a little back and forth. Um, persuade clearly. Sneak attack too. Some well made doors, let me tell you. You ever seen a swoop bike? I seen them at the races sometimes. They go fast and make lots of noise. Good. All right. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. This is so weird. I guess it's now, I guess it's now the morning and they've all passed out. The Sith at the party underestimated the infamous kick of the Theresian Now, giving you ample opportunity to search their belongings while they sleep off the effects of the power drink. powerful drink. Okay. They are not dead. They all have names though. Alright, I've got some Sith armor that is gonna come in handy, I'm sure. Some food and drink. I wish I could also partake in the partying. That's what you get from drinking Romulan ale. Gotta be careful. Gotta watch my posture. 
Taurus used to be a nice straight. place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore order? I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. I gotta make my way down to the Undercity. Oh, I just completed the circle, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Not dead like all the people you do when you fight. We got some Sith armor. Don't really know what to do with it yet. We keep exploring. We are gonna save there. Transit back buttons now, just to see how they work. Transit back. Where is that button? Character sheet. Literally a character sheet. I have a turn to You will see a button that says return to hideout. You will be instantly transported back to your base. The most action in the combat areas. Yeah, let's return to the hideout. We will make our way off the terrace eventually. Can I put things in here? Oh, just... Okay. Now we'll see. Beautiful. Alright, everybody. That was our first go at Knights of the Old Republic. As I said before, it's gonna be a fun time. I used to I played this. This is my first game that really made me love video games in general. It's gonna be a really cool ride. Um, as Bear pointed out, 27 to 49 hours, something crazy like that. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one. But anywho, Queen, thank you for raiding. Kosh, thanks for hanging out. Bear, thank you for hanging out and telling your really great jokes that definitely make me laugh. Pete, welcome to the mod community. And uh, yeah, I'll be back on Wednesday some more Knights of the Old Republic. Good talking, everybody. Have a great night. Peace out, Girl Scout.